Islam is the second largest religion in India at present, but the ruling party of India hates every symbol associated with Islam and Muslims. One hand, the Indian Foreign Office seems to be striving for good relations with the Arabs, and on the other hand, the Indian media portrays Arabs as the greatest enemy of Hindus. Above and beyond the headlines, like, follow, and subscribe to White News. Hello, this is Waftabar Mahmood, and you're watching White News. Relations with the Arab countries have always been a dream of Hindu capitalists of India. These Brahmin capitalists have always feared that Arab civilization may not triumph over India. Extremist Hindu parties in India want to earn big by trading with Arab countries, but at the same time, they want the people of India to consider Arab nation as their enemies. हर एरिया के अंदर आपको भारतीय देखने को मिल जाएंगे आप इनफैक्ट दुबई जैसे शहरों में जब रोड पर चलेंगे तो आपको ऐसा ही लगेगा कि लोगों को देखकर कि आप शायद भारत में ही हैं तो इन माइग्रेंट्स के कारण भारत में दुनिया भर से आने वाले जो रेमिटेंसेस होते हैं रेमिटेंस क्या होता है जो बाहर से लोग पैसा बेचते हैं भारत अपने घर परिवार वालों को वो पैसा सबसे ज्यादा यू से आता है तो 2018 का फिगर ये था कि 14 बिलियन डॉलर रेमिटेंसेस यू से भारत ट्रांसफर किए गए थे और ये अमेरिका से भी ज्यादा है यानी जो अमेरिका में भारत के लोग रहते हैं वो भी इससे कम पैसा बेचते हैं दैट वॉज अराउंड इलेवन बिलियन यू का फिगर और यू का चौदह बिलियन The result of this confusion of Bharatiya Janata Party BJP in India is that on one hand the Indian Foreign Office seems to be striving for good relations with the Arabs and on the other hand the Indian media portrays Arabs as the greatest enemy of Hindus. Islam is the second largest religion in India at present but the ruling party of India hates every symbol associated with Islam and Muslims. Is whether the number of Muslims is rising much faster in India than Hindus and in the course of time in a not not such an unforeseeable future but in a foreseeable future Muslims will outnumber Hindus or they'll become so close to the Hindu population that India will become an Islamic dominated country if not an Islamic country and then all the stereotypes come in that all the Muslims will vote together Hindus will be divided Muslims will rule, rule India that's the reason every place in India with any resemblance with Islam has been renamed the hatred for Islam is to the extent that the Tablighi Jamaat was blamed for the spread of COVID virus in India which was later proved to have spread to India through the famous Hindu festival of Kumbh a clothing brand committed a sin of using Urdu words in a Diwali advertisement on which the Hindu nationalist group started targeting the language of Indian origin. Not only that, the ad was shut down but it mustered a great cry and hear. Deepavali came to Deepavali, it was a big deal with Deepavali. It was a big deal with Fab India. Ko bada kat gaya. As we welcome the festival of love and light, Jashne Rewaz by Fab India is a collection that beautifully pays homage to Indian culture. Are wah, gajab, Jashme, Jashne Rewaz, ye kab se ho gaya? To phir kya bolay apn? Hmm? Eid ko Chanda Mama bolne, Chanda Mama Divas, chalega. Abhi wo gala kaatne aa jayenge, khat khat khat. Bol ke dekho Fab India ko ham kehte hain, ab ye bhi bol ke dekho. The government backed Rashtra Swayam Sevak Sangh and Bajrang Dal in India hate Urdu for the sole reason that it's written in the Arabic script. Even in the Bollywood films, Muslims are portrayed as luxurious and hateful. But Mabati is the most recent example of this, in which a Muslim king risks his entire empire to get hold of a married Hindu girl. Afghans are also misrepresented in the Indian films, and Afghans in particular are portrayed as gay. A recent example is the popular Indian web series Bard of the Blood on Netflix showing an Afghan Taliban leader having sexual relations with the Madrasa children. India's growing ties with the Arab countries at present could be very dangerous for the Arabs in the years to come as India's defense pacts with Israel and its hatred of the Arabs is an indisputable fact. That is why it cannot be guaranteed that a Muslim entering an Arab country on an Indian passport is really a Muslim or a spy for India. Reciprocating territory is the country or the areas that have been given to India or the government of India that some court that will be given to India can be given to India. It's a very simple thing to say. And it's not that the UAE can be given to India that can be given to India. There are some designated courts that can be given to India. 
जिक्र जिनका जिक्र किया गया है इस ऑर्डर के अंदर उन्हें सुपीरियर कोर्ट्स कहा जाएगा उन अदालतों से आया हुआ आदेश भारत के डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट में एनफोर्स किया जा सकता है तो इसमें सिविल कमर्शियल डिवोर्स केसेस ये सभी का एग्जीक्यूशन हो सकता है क्रिमिनल के लिए ये लागू नहीं है To spread terrorism, the famous Indian spy Kalbushan Jadav also entered Pakistan on a Muslim passport with the name Hussain Mubarak Patel. Arab countries are now recognizing the true face of India, which is why a princess from the United Arab Emirates called Sudhir Chaudhary, the anchor of the Indian channel Z News, a terrorist who is brimming with intolerance.